Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Russian oligarch who paid Michael Cohen is linked to Clinton Foundation and John Podesta. They found everything. It's now really starting to look like there was Russ on collusion during the 2016 U.S. presidential campaign season, but it didn't involve Donald Trump. It seems the porn actress Stormy Daniels' ambulance chasing lawyer. Michael Avenatti is now claiming that President's personal attorney Michael Cohen received around $500,000 from a Russian oligarch's American company after the 2016 presidential election was over. Cohen is the same attorney who allegedly paid Daniels $130,000 in hush money to keep a decades-old alleged affair between herself and Donald Trump a secret. Avenatti is claiming to have received some personal information about Cohen's business dealing and a company controlled by a Russian oligarch. So he ran to make the connection between Daniel's payoff and the Kremlin although there is no proof of this whatsoever. But instead, what it did reveal is that the Russian oligarch is linked to Bill and Hillary Clinton, along with the Clinton Foundation. Here is more on the clear link to the Clintons via the Washington Examiner. New emails show Clinton Foundation staff pushed Hillary Clinton's State Department to approve a meeting between Bill Clinton and a powerful Russian oligarch as her agency lined up investors for a project under his purview. The Clintons' relationship with Victor Vexelberg, the billionaire whose name appears in the documents, has taken on new significance amid an expanding criminal investigation into his company. Last week, authorities raided the offices of Vexelberg's firm, Renova Group, following allegations of bribery from several of Renova's subsidiaries. Vexelberg had been named head of a partnership dubbed the Russian Silicon Valley just three months before a Clinton Foundation employee began pushing the State Department to approve Bill Clinton's proposed meeting with Vexelberg and a handful of other Russian executives. The emails, obtained by conservative-leaning Citizens United and provided first to the Washington Examiner, do not reveal any illegal activity on the part of the State Department, the Clintons or their foundation. But the records shed light on one of many relationships that blurred the lines between the Clintons' political, financial and philanthropic pursuits while Hillary Clinton served as Secretary of State. Vexelberg's Renova Group has donated between $50,000 and $100,000 to the Clinton Foundation, donor records show. Another firm associated with Vexelberg, O.C. Orlikon, donated $25,000 to the Clinton Foundation. Renova's interests in mining, oil and telecommunications have helped Vexelberg become one of Russia's wealthiest individuals and an influential figure within the Kremlin. Beginning in May 2010, Amitav Desai, a Clinton Foundation employee who acted as a frequent liaison to the State Department on behalf of Bill Clinton, asked agency officials if they had any objections to the former president's plan to meet with a handful of Russian executives on an upcoming swing through the country. Would state of concerns about WJC seeing any of these folks? Desai wrote on May 14, 2010, using Bill Clinton's initials. Vexelberg's name appeared on the list of Russian businessmen. After receiving no reply, Desai asked senior members of Hillary Clinton's staff again 10 days later for their thoughts on Bill Clinton's proposed meetings. On June 3, 2010, Desai said he and the former president urgently need feedback about what he had described as a possible trip to Russia. Finally, after Desai entreated the State Department for a response to the list of names for the fourth time on June 7, 2010, Jake Sullivan, a top aide to Hillary Clinton, forwarded the request to another State Department official and asked, what's the deal, with, this? In April of that year, Bill Clinton's staff had submitted to the State Department Ethics Office a request for the former president to deliver a paid speech in Moscow on June 28, 2010, an engagement that necessitated the trip to Russia that Desai described. Renaissance Capital, a Russian investment bank, paid Bill Clinton $500,000 for that speech, according to his wife's financial disclosures from 2010. The State Department had given its approval for the trip just two days after Bill Clinton's office filed its request. The former president's travel to Russia for the speech and potential meetings with Vexelberg and others came as Hillary Clinton's State Department labored to drum up interest in a technology-sharing project, led by Vexelberg, called Skokovo. Hailed as the Russian version of Silicon Valley, Skokovo was conceived during President Obama's Russia reset as a way to attract investors to Moscow-based technology startups. Hillary Clinton, responsible for the mechanics of the Russia reset, was tasked with finding companies to invest in and work with Skokovo in the early months of her tenure. Four days after Hillary Clinton met with an Russian President Dmitry Medvedev in March 2010, Medvedev announced that Vexelberg would head up the Skokovo project just one day after Hillary Clinton had a private phone call with John Chambers, CEO of Cisco, 
Medvedev met with Cisco executives in California. That same day, Vexelberg announced that Cisco and Boeing would invest in Skokovo. Both Cisco and Boeing are major Clinton Foundation donors. Cisco paid Bill Clinton $256,000 for a speech in October 2010, just three months after Vexelberg's announcement that the firm would invest $1 billion in Skokovo. As Peter Schweitzer, author of Clinton Cash, noted in his report on the technology project, 17 of the 28 companies that were ultimately listed as key partners in Skokovo were also Clinton Foundation donors. The Clintons' relationship to Vexelberg continued throughout Hillary Clinton's time at the State Department. In 2012, Desai approached members of Hillary Clinton's staff to determine whether they would have concerns about Vexelberg's attendance at an upcoming Clinton Global Initiative meeting, according to emails Citizens United obtained last year. Vexelberg was reportedly questioned a year later during a 2013 investigation of alleged corruption within Skokovo. Russian security officials raided the Moscow offices of Renovo last week amid allegations that executives in firms controlled by Vexelberg had bribed regional officials, according to a Reuters report. The new emails come as Hillary Clinton struggles to reconcile her claim that the Clinton Foundation posed no conflicts of interest for her family while she served as Secretary of State with her pledge to eliminate foreign and corporate donations to the charity if she wins the presidency. The Democratic nominee has ratcheted up her rhetoric against Russia in recent weeks accusing her opponent of displaying dangerous affection for Russian President Vladimir Putin. But many of her past statements about the foundation and her ties to its donors have been thrown back into the spotlight amid new evidence from the FBI that Hillary Clinton's staff destroyed evidence sought by investigators and subsequently misrepresented their efforts to turn over documents. As you can clearly see once again, the only collusion appears to have been between Hillary Clinton and Russian associates. Perhaps Avenatti should have been told that before he proposed inappropriate activities between Cohen, and inadvertently President Trump, and Vexelberg. Of course, we all know Mueller will not peruse Vexelberg if it exposes Hillary Clinton and his masters. This whole Russian-Trump collusion narrative has been a farce from the beginning and the left had no issue pushing it forward since they know very well that the FBI and DOJ, which is infested with swamp creatures will never go after them or anyone who could take down the Clinton crime syndicate. This is America today. A nation where people like the Clintons can get away with whatever they want and no one bats an eye. So much for justice being blind. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.